So what was it that I found so amazing when I first went to the Philippines? When the plane come down, I'm sat on the um, seat with a, a window seat to my left, so I could actually see out the window as the plane dipped. I could see the sea, I could see the fishing boats, I could see the green cover of all the palm trees and the uh, rice fields, etc. And it just felt like home. You know, there was that instant, bang, I haven't even got off the plane yet. And it was just an amazing place to be. When I got into the, all the moving from Mactan up to Mingdanilia on my first trip and whatever, it was the traffic, the traffic's all bustling. It's hardly seeing any new vehicles. A lot of vehicles were smoggy and it just seemed like a step back in time in many ways a lot of buildings aren't painted so that was another thing that was a bit odd um i'm not i'm still not aware or still not sure why people still don't paint buildings for some reason um, i know a lot of buildings are painted but there's a lot that is just concrete and never painted and there's a lot of reasons to paint a building um, not just, oh, it looks nice, but the heat reflection and other other reasons. Um, but a lot of people don't. But when you meet the people and the interactions were very different, you find a lot of attractive women approaching you on a daily basis, asking if you're single and oh, just want a conversation. Going into the shops, um, the big department stores and stuff, going into things like Gasano and SM Mall and things, you're finding the people that work in there are coming to talk to you even if you're not buying anything they're interested in who you are where you're from what's going on in the uk you often see people trying to hide from customers i've got a box i've got to go to the back because i can see a customer walking towards me philippines everybody seems to approach you sitting on the bus everybody's talking to you all this stuff goes on around you now bear in mind i don't use the bus very often in the uk um i am i use use a car mainly but the, the point being is there is a constant interaction. Even in the neighborhood, you know everybody within a month. But they all talk to you as well. It's not just this nosy neighbor type mentality you often come across. It's people actually interested in who you are, what you're doing. When I got sick, people brought fruit to the house, which was something I've never seen before. There is a lot of people that actually care about you, even if they don't know you because they're happy you've come to their country. They're happy that you're embracing what you have around you. But at the same time, they feel responsible for making sure you're taken care of. This is why people will go, oh, I wouldn't go there, it's dangerous. I wouldn't do, do that, it blah, blah, blah. They're not actually, um, they're not trying to interfere in your life. They're worried about your safety, and it's a genuine worry. So there's all those sorts of things with people that's amazing. But also you've got the access to things you wouldn't normally get to do. A friend of mine, Stephen Black, is a photographer. And we were up in uh, San... F where were we? It's north of Cebu. It's uh, San Romero. And I'm at the Airsoft tournament. I'm competing in the Airsoft tournament. And he went off with a lawyer he met at the airsoft tournament who took him to the local jail and stuff and he's in the the cells taking pictures of the prisoners and stuff then this oh this guy's just committed murder and it's quite happy to have his picture and stuff taken there's a lot of stuff in the west who go no you can't do that you cannot take pictures of these people no oh, you can't come in the building blah blah but in the philippines there's a lot of you know what come on let's have a look that's so laid back it's so so laid back and that's what I love. I love the interactions. People are people. And even on the uh, downside stuff, with the, which would only really be the immigration paperwork, I'd have to say. Everything else I can quite happily uh, get along with. I mean, the people turning up late for meetings and stuff, you just turn up late yourself and it sort of counteracts it. Um, but the... I mean, for example, an airsoft tournament will be there at half eight, actually being somewhere between 12 and one o'clock. But the immigration stuff can be a pain, you know, that going there on a regular basis if you're on a tourist visa. 
But I found that once you went resident, a lot of those headaches just disappear because you only go once a year and you're in and out. Bang, you're a resident, off you go. Don't, don't come back again until next year. Generally, no headaches whatsoever. Also, there's a lot more people in the Philippines willing to do stuff for you. Uh, for example, I rarely go to do the groceries because I look after the house and everything else and the business side of things. Um, everybody else does pretty much everything else for me because I become the breadwinner and as such practically everything is dealt with. Um, my father-in-law takes the kids to school. My mother-in-law looks after the store but also if I needed stuff from the market she'll get stuff from the market for me and medication or stuff people will go out and get it for the you know if the kids are sick they'll, they'll just do it. It's it's a f strong family unit. And I think some of the other people are struggling with um, some of the flan family splintering. But that's a natural transition anyway. You will find family members want to go off and do their own thing somewhere. But the whole point is, is to respect it and just cut it off and form the unit without them. It, it, because you can't form it with them, but don't let them stop you forming a strong family unit. Because um, the, the issues normally come from extended family. There's resentment and other issues that often appears due to financial and other reasons and stuff in the history. And it's the horrible stuff. But generally, you find with a normal family unit, with the brothers, sisters, parents, etc., it's quite, normally quite a strong unit. It's when it starts going outside of that where you start having uncles, aunts, and stuff that complications occur so my my personal view is i love the way the family units work i love the way nothing needs to be done today manana manana as we say in spain it's there's no sense of urgency on anything um i know it can get frustrating when your internet's down for eight days but at the same time as we found when we had power cuts with the call center and stuff all we did is we cracked open cold beer and sat under the mango tree chatting with all our agents. We just adapted to the environment. And I think that's the key element, is adapting to get the most out of the Philippines, and it can be an amazing experience.